few weeks ago, we were talking about fashion revolution and seeing what you guys could do to make your clothes last longer and to value what we have in our wardrobes. And we wanted to come and see what that looked like on a slightly bigger scale. So we have come to this mill to visit Elvis and Cressy who have been making bags and wallets and accessories out of reclaimed fire hoses for over 10 years. I'm here today with Cressy from Elvis and Cressy. What are we doing here in front of all of these pipes? Well, actually, you've arrived on a, a really authentic day because although it is cold and windy and I've got my jacket on, um, this morning we were cleaning fire hose. Uh, 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago now, 2005, we discovered that all of London's decommissioned damaged fire hoses were going to landfill. Wow. And the reason they go to landfill is you've got this double wall nitrile rubber jacket surrounding a mm -hmm. nylon woven core. And if you get a catastrophic tear halfway down a hose, that's it. And they go to landfill to the tune of 10 tons a year in the UK, which is, is, is actually, actually not a big problem in terms of the hundred million tons of waste that went to landfill the year that I arrived, mm -hmm. right? So it's actually a niche waste problem. But I was excited because I thought, ooh, we can solve this problem. Yeah. I can conceive 10 tons, I can imagine that amount. That's, you know, 10 elephants, we whatever. Can do yeah, that. it's 10 small elephants, we can do that. So we did loads and loads of research, we did lots of testing, we really wanted to understand the material. Like, what are the, what are the real properties of this material? What is it, what could it be the best at? What can we make that's going to give it the longest possible shot at a second life? Mm -hmm. It meant that we had to put a lot of love and energy and time into the material. Mm -hmm. um, it meant that we had to pick up all kinds of new skills. Elvis had to learn to sew. But we, we worked out that if we made really, really beautiful products that were guaranteed, you know, that we repair for life for free, mm -hmm that actually we can dramatically extend the life of this material. It's a life-saving material. Why not have it be the narrative behind these things that you carry? So this is the actual material that they make all of the bags and all the products out of, which is just an actual fire hose that used to fight fires. And they donate 50% of their profits back to the Fireman's Charity, which is amazing. This is our fire hose wallet. 10.2 centimeters is the maximum width we can get out of it mm -hmm. because of the shape of it. So this is a 10.2 centimetre wallet. So this bag we've been working on for a week and a half now, but that's because it's the first one and we're making decisions as we go along. What is that? A printing blanket. So that's what it became. Wow. So this material, this so that is that, that side. side, that's that side. We split it in half, peeled it in half, stripped down the middle, we have a machine that does that. And that was about five years worth of sort of, mm, how do you make this work? Working. If somebody was coming to this and they're starting to think about living a slightly more sustainable life, do you have any advice for them or any ways of thinking that might change their behaviour? I always like to do this on a, on a backwards level and it's really, it, I, I invite people to go and look in their, in their bin. Once you see repetitive items in there, you have to think about how you can live around those items. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you get a lot of packaging associated with uh, meat, for example, we'll just go to the butcher with a pot instead. They absolutely love it. But in design itself, if you have an absolute blank slate to begin with, I think you, you shouldn't just start thinking, how can I make this? How can I build a plane? How can I make a dress? You should think, why should I be making this product at all? 100%. Is it useful for anyone? Is it going to make the world better for anyone? Or is it just going to be, you know, on the shelf next year? It's great to have you down here, and we just want everyone to know that uh, this is an open site, and we love having people down. And yeah, you're welcome anytime. Thank you. Thank you so much.